What just happened in Ahsoka? I still can't believe what I've just seen in the newest Ahsoka episodes. This was something that was needed in Star Wars for a very, very long time. But if you haven't watched the new episode yet, please click away because this video contains spoilers of the new Ahsoka episode. First of all, let's start with Merrick. All the speculations that he would maybe be Starkiller, Ezra Bridger or even at the beginning people thought he could have been Barriss Offee. But apparently he was none of the above. When Ahsoka killed him, we could see some kind of greenish smoke coming out of his armor suit. We could say it is finally revealed who Merrick actually was. He was a reanimated Night Brother. We could say this because of the greenish emerald smoke coming out of his suit and shortly after Merrick vanished within a swirling emerald smoke and that is enough evidence for me and for many others I think also. It's also nice to see that Hera doesn't play by the rules of the New Republic and is still a rebel and goes out of her way to go and help Ahsoka, Sabine and Hu Yang. Speaking of Sabine, I wonder what would happen to her. Balin did ask Sabine to come with him willingly and she kind of obeyed to that, even though they put her in handcuffs. I mean, can you blame them? She's a Mandalorian. But what we also learned was that Shin either was holding back against Sabine or isn't just that good of a sword fighter because it was weird to me that she had difficulty to defeat Sabine. Of course Sabine is Mandalorian, she got trained by Kanan and Ezra, two Jedi's, so maybe it isn't that weird. Of course Shin and Sabine already had a fight and there Shin best Sabine by far by stabbing Sabine. But this time the fight was different. But that might be because Sabine became Ahsoka's apprentice again and started training again. What we also saw was that it looked like Balin was fighting Ahsoka with full hatred for her. I personally still don't understand where he stands. Maybe it was just my eyes but his lightsaber looked more red than before. But that might just be me. At this point I'm still leaning to the dark Jedi kind but who knows. We also saw that Morgan Elsbeth, together with Balin, Shin and Sabine as prisoners, I think, went into hyperspace and if we have to believe what they said, go to the planet or galaxy or whatever Tron and Ezra are on. So if all goes well, we might see live action Tron and Ezra Bridger in the next episode. I think we are all hoping that Ezra is still a Jedi and didn't get manipulated by Tron or something like that. The last thing I'd like to talk about is the ending of this episode. Believe me if I told you I was jumping up and down because I couldn't believe it. First of all, where is Ahsoka? After Balin pushed Ahsoka off the cliff, I first thought maybe the world between worlds that we already saw in Rebels, but then I heard Anakin Skywalker. I was blown away, but we do know that the world between worlds connects literally everything that is surrounded by the Force, so stand by that they are in the world between worlds for now. It was so good to see Anakin and him saying snips to Ahsoka. The moment Ahsoka saw Anakin, I was so happy to see this because I'm like most people a big fan of the Clone Wars and this was just like a little reunion. But anyway, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you even liked the Ahsoka episode more because this was an awesome episode. I know the video is a little bit short but I didn't have a lot of time today so it is a quick one, I'm sorry. But if you enjoyed it, Leave a like if you want, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you in the next video, and may the force be with you. Goodbye.